Gee, I'm a tree. Okay, so here's a short video we're going to talk about. Um, just talking about the core distance from the center theorem. It's a little bit different than what we normally have done with these videos, but you know, I think it's better for you to see this as opposed to just writing out the notes. So, in this circle, I have two chords, the red one and the blue one. Now, the red one's 8, the blue one is 10. Now, this chord here, I mean, sorry, this dotted line, the red dotted line, tells you the distance from the center point that this chord is. In this case, it's 4.64. Now, the blue dotted line tells you how far away the blue one is. Now, one thing you should notice is that this is 3.54, the blue distance away, the blue chord is 3.54 away from the center of the circle. This red one is 4.64. However, the red one is 8, the blue one 10, the red one's smaller. So what happens is, when we move it closer to the center of the circle, now one thing you should notice now, the red one is bigger, but it is closer to the center of the circle. And if you do remember, if we have a diameter, it goes straight through the center of the circle. It's on the circle. It's zero away. And we said that the diameter is the largest chord. So, let's take a look at this theorem. This theorem says that the chord that is closest to the center is the larger chord. And this is true. If I just move this one closer and closer, we can have a little battle going. This is now one, about 1 1.5 away, and this is still bigger. Now, the blue chord is bigger than the red one. I move this one closer. It's now 1.14 closer than the blue one, and the red one is larger. Okay. That's it for this. Have a good day. Bye.